Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are reviewing a really, really cool Predator figure today. And uh, I've heard he's on a little bit of the rarer side. So, yeah, that's really cool. And uh, today we are reviewing the Laser Shot Predator. He has a lot of accessories that I hope I get to show you properly. And, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So we're just going to move. Oh, shoot. This guy's falling over. So, yeah, we're just going to move all of his accessories. Get that. Oh, sorry about that. I just hit you. Hit my camera. Okay. So hopefully it didn't affect the video too much. I'm sorry. You can bully me down in the comments for that. But, yeah. So, the box, really cool style. I like the way it's presented. It just makes me want to buy the figure whenever I see it. Doesn't doesn't it do that for you? Because it does for me. And, uh, yeah, it's just really cool. So, front, it's got him in the box. Features electronics, LED targeting eye. Really cool. I'll get into that when I review the figure. But yeah, open him up. Really cool. Little. It doesn't really have any art inside. It just has a picture of him and... Um, his other three that you can get. So yeah, sides. Hey, stay closed. I'm trying to do a video here. Anyway, the ultimate alien hunter, predator up top. The ultimate alien hunter, predator, laser shot predator, NECA. And uh, the back. This part's not, it's not that good, but I've seen better. And uh, I, I just like, you know, that they put it back on it. I've seen some Predator boxes where they don't. So, there's an interesting story with this one. We all know that the other Predators, they all have a story that's commonly known. But this guy, he was a lone Predator that didn't really have a clan or anything. So, he didn't really get to have an honor system. He just grew up becoming a killing machine and having no code of honor. So, he just, you know, and he just customized himself to get all golden and everything. And, uh, yeah, there's not really too much of a story behind him. It's just that he was alone, grew up without a code of honor, and started killing. <laughs> so, there's the bottom. Oh, yeah, forgot to tell you on the back. It uh, tells you how to put, put everything on. I like that. really like that at the bottom because you never know. You never know. And, uh, so yeah, so we're just going to put him in the background. So we're going to start with his accessories, and we're going to start with this. So this is like a grappling. It goes at the top here, which I will show you. So it goes at the top, and it's like a little, like, grapple system, you know? But I don't think it's supposed to pull him up. I think it's just like a barb to go in and pull something, or I don't know. I don't really know how he uses it, because I've never seen him in a movie or show before, so... Yeah, this goes on. Now that we got that, I can show you the tips. So there's t different tips for his thing. So I think this is supposed to be like the weaponized one where that it goes into somebody. This is actually really sharp. It doesn't look that sharp, but if you put it up to your skin like that, it kind of hurts. So, and it, taking it off is even worse because you gotta like maneuver around it. Ow. Sorry, I just hurt myself. And then this, I think, is his grappling one, where he can grab stuff, you know? So I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. That looks really cool. And now I'll show you what it looks like on the figure. Oh, crap. That's right. This guy is fitted. Ow. So this guy's thing is fitted, so you got to find the right way to put it in. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. Come on now. I got it. <sighs> It really is hard to get in there because it's such a tight fit. But yeah, there it is. It's in there. It doesn't really fit that well. Well, at least mine doesn't, but it clearly belongs in there, you know? So it's supposed to like, like Dr. Octopus style. So, yep. And then now that we got that out of the way, we can move on to this. This is supposed to go on his arm. I currently have a shield in there. Yeah, shield, nothing basic. And uh, this is supposed to go in there whenever you don't have the shield on. It's like a little 
Galvatron crown. Not too much to that, it's just golden with the arm. And then, you obviously know, we have the shield. It just goes on. This is supposed to be the like closed version of the shield. So if you don't want the big old shield on them, then you can just have this on and uh, it'll look like the cap. So, and then we move on to his hand. This hand is really cool for multiple reasons because you can do stuff like that. That's really weird, but I think it's cool. And his fingers are just insanely poseable. Like, just even down to his knuckles. Like, every knuckle is just poseable. Like, every single knuckle. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that on another Predator figure. Down to the knuckles. They're, like, I don't know. What are they called? Articulative. You can bully me down in the comments for that as well. If I said that wrong and I triggered some of you, but I think that's what they're called. So, yeah. <laughs> so, this is supposed to go on his right, his left hand, sorry. I didn't pass the fifth grade, you know. <laughs> just kidding, I did. But, yeah, so let's just rip his hand off. Come here. Okay, so there's a little nub right here. You don't put the nub in, so... I, now you're trying to, you don't get, you don't get away from me. This, I always have discovered that NECA Predator hands are always hard to put on. Even with the Predator 2, they're just hard. So, I finally got it on. Can you believe it? I can't. Well, that's what it's supposed to look like. Just like a giant Mr. Krabs claw, so, Yeah. Not too bad, not too bad at all. So we were talking about his hand. His hand, very articulated. It's uh, quite strange to look at, it's quite big. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna pop that off because that's kind of weird. I'll just be no hand hairy. So his mask, this is detachable and it can go back on. Now what's cool about this is that he actually has a little spot for his targeting system, which I'll get into when I review the figure. Actually, you'll see it whenever I put his mask on. So let me just, this mask is very hard to get on. It's unlike every other detachable mask I've seen. So it's just a press until you find the spot type of mask. So, oh shoot. It's very hard to get on, especially whenever I'm sitting in, oh my gosh. It's very hard to get on whenever, especially whenever I'm sitting at a desk and not just being able to... Alright, there we go. It's on. His mask doesn't look the best. I can say that for a fact, but... So, uh, yeah. You can see his little targeting system right there. Yeah, it goes on. Immediately activates his targeting system. So, yep. Let's just put this on. That way it doesn't get in the way too much. All right, there we go. And now we can get onto the figure. I should probably put his hand back on. So, yeah, while I'm talking about that, don't mind me, I'm just gonna be shoving his hand back on. All right, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna get into the, you know what, get off. Okay, get back. All right, so with the figure, there's a lot to explain. There is a lot. So we're gonna start with the front. So the front, he's got little armor on. He's uh, you know, obviously got that targeting system on top of his head, but we'll talk into that later. So he's very purple, like Thanos, but he's a predator. So he's got the little skull right there. I don't know if that's supposed to be like some human skull he melted into gold or whatever. So he's got a lot of blades on him, which is what I find most weird. He's just got a lot of weird looking armor on and just it's just a weird figure to kind of look at but it's kind of cool at the same time you get my drift and uh yeah it's just kind of weird so let's just move on to his legs legs fully posable like always and uh knees same thing feet same thing now the strange thing with this figure is that his feet or his toes can't go down 
like normal predator figures. I've seen some that can do that. So, yep, that's kind of weird. But moving on to his arms, fully posable as well. They do get kind of in the way of everything though because of this little plating right here. But yeah, and it's not removable because it's connected under the armor plates unless you want to, you know, rip off all his armor if you're kind of weird. So moving down the arm, his hands, fingers aren't posable, just swappable hands. Movable like that always. I think with this one, it's just this one pops off. I mean, I guess that one pops off too, but I don't know why you would, because I mean, there's no other alternate hand. So moving onto his head, fully posable. Can't really go up or down. It can only go left and right really good. And then we're onto that part that I was talking about. Oh yeah, his targeting system. Oh yeah, that's really sick. So he does have a little area where you can replace the batteries up here. I um he he need he requires. Let me just check the box really quick so I can give you guys accurate information. So he requires. I don't know. Oh, there it is. It's just it's very hard to find. He requires two button cell batteries. So if you just have those laying around the house and you just happen to have this figure run out of batteries, you know, put put in those replacement cell batteries or button batteries. You, yeah, you get what I mean. Sorry. And then let's move on to his very obvious jetpack type looking thing. So this thing doesn't really go up and down. It just simply goes tilt like that. And these are movable by themselves. Not really that well though. I mean, they can really do that and all, but they can't really go to that side really well. This one doesn't move at all. Mostly because if you were whipping this thing around, then I guess that'd be kind of weird. But yeah, moving on to the back. He's got more armor plating. Really nice, really nice. His back is just really basic except for this thing. I guess mostly because not a lot of people are gonna be looking at his back. They're gonna be looking at his front. So yeah. Overall, this figure is really cool. 10 out of 10 would definitely rec 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend if you can find him. That would that would be insane. I would cuz every time I've been to a Target and looking in the collectible section, I have never found this guy. I found him once, and this was the one time I got him. So, yeah, pick him up before someone else does and uh like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, see ya.